The world's facing a looming shortage of critical minerals and our clients are facing the, the problem of delivering more and more metal, but doing so in a sustainable manner. The idea started when Professor Jack Steen and myself read an article about finding the gold in the surface of the leaves and really think about it, that's the presence of amino acids in the soil and, 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 and the groundwater as well as, as a source of dissolving this gold and transfer it. So then we start intensively work in 2012 at Curtin University to develop the amino acid to extract precious and base metal from different resources. Glycine is an amino acid. It's a non-dangerous good and fully biodegradable. It's available to our customers through a network of fully integrated manufacturers who we can then supply it from. It has the selective ability to leach base and precious metals whilst not leaching deleterious and gang minerals. In this application, what that would mean is if you've got a copper ore, we can leach copper. If you've got a nickel ore, nickel sulfide ore, we can leach the nickel. If you've got a precious metal, gold, silver, PGM ore, we can leach precious metals. Whilst not leaching iron, which is a gang mineral, and not leaching mercury, tellurium, into solution, which are deleterious elements. We have five family patents relating to the glycine technology. We start to extract the precious metals followed by really acidic leaching for a glycine as well, plus the chalcophyre metal leaching. And recently in 2022, we, 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 we patented the Glyam, which is a mixture of glycine and amino acids. I found the, the glycine leaching technology will be really the breakthrough technology to treat complex gold copper resources and as well to treat all the historical oxide caps for, uh, for copper in the market. That's really what we foresee in the technology. Another one I need to add, which we are a leading major project in the extraction of nickel and cobalt from tailings and waste streams. And we couldn't find any solution better than glycine to solve this problem. GLT stands for glycine leaching technology. It's effectively a combination or a culmination of four different sub-technologies. The first being glycat, the second being glyleach, the third being glycine tyrea or GT, and the fourth being glyam or glycine ammonia. So the first one, glycat. Glycat is effectively a co-lixivient of glycine and cyanide that is used to extract gold from gold-bearing ores or complex gold-bearing ores. What it does is it reduces your cyanide consumption, it reduces your oxygen consumption. It can, in some cases, reduce lime consumption, and it can, in some cases, improve gold recovery. At Draslovka, we've got uh, a very robust, systematic risk reduction approach to how we deal with our clients. That forms part of a engagement model. And that engagement model is very, very simple. We engage with our clients, understand their problems, come up with a strategic plan for our clients. From there, if the client is happy with our strategic way forward, we, we get the client to sign a non-disclosure agreement. From there on, what we undertake is what is called a discovery program. A discovery program in, its, in a nutshell is about taking a small sample size of about 10 kilograms and subjecting it to various tests. That test basically culminates to a report that suggests Say, for example, there is a gold client, uh, we would report back by saying there was X amount of cyanide reduction as a percentage or a kilogram per tonne reduction. There was a Y amount of recovery improvement. There was Y benefits in reduction of cyanide to uh, add to the towel stream. From there, the client is then allowed to digest the information and move to step two or stage two, 
And stage two is what we call the risk reduction program. The risk reduction program in, its, in a nutshell is a larger group of tests, which we undertake either on our premises in Perth at the Perth Innovation Center or the Innovation Laboratory, or alternatively, we can allow the client to do the risk reduction test or the risk reduction program at their own facility or at the mine site. That basically gives all culminates to a report again and a single point set of parameters that the client can then take on to step three, which is pilot demonstration. Now the pilot demonstration step or step three basically comes in two forms. One is if it's a tank leach system, we provide a pilot system. And then the, the client under our guidance undertakes the piloting program which we collaborate with the client to sort of figure out what the full-scale implementation would look like. Alternatively, the pilot stage, if you want to call it, does have, for heap leach applications, an option where the client can do a less than 1,000 tonne trial on their site, which then gives them comfort to rapidly scale up to full-scale. That leads to stage four, which is, a, let's just say, a period of X months that allows the client to implement the technology in full scale, could be full scale tank leach or CIL, CIP circuit, could be an acid leach for copper, could be heap leach for copper, nickel. They run our technology at scale on their site for a period of X number of months. That all culminates to a certain amount of comfort for, the, for both the client and Drozlovka. So this is where the collaboration and the reduced risk approach comes from where we then lead ourselves collaboratively with the client to move to a full-scale commercial application. Glycine leaching technology is an innovative technology which is in various stages of readiness for commercialisation. TRL is what it's referred to, is technical readiness level, and we have various gauges where the we have in research, it's tier one to three, which is at universities. We also have at development managers or some of the researchers looking into tier probably four to six. And then we have commercial on-site demonstrations, which go from six to nine. And yes, we also have commercial operations and we just signed our first commercial operations, which is TL10. We're advancing all our processes and the advancements of those technologies with different commodities to further promote or understand the use of glycine or amino acids to leaching of precious metals and base metals. Glycat we applied to a range of different materials so far, that is concentrates, tailings and ores, and we found that it is applicable for all those different resources in that we are able to recover the precious mineral content in all examples. So we piloted um, and we're now going into transitioning to on-site testing for concentrate leaching and also tails leaching of some cold oil uh, from some existing flotation operations, which use cyanation to recover additional gold value out of those streams. First example was um, a tails retreatment of a gravity cut tails, and that was set up in Zimbabwe, where we they had a stamping mill to recover um, a gravity gold content, and the tails of that was cyanide leached. Due to the copper content in that material, they were unable to economically recover the gold value in the tails, but using our process we are able to demonstrate that we are able to simply reduce the amount of cyanide needed and still recover appreciable amounts of gold using simple vat leaching setup. We've got uh, a full scale implemented heap leach in Mongolia utilising glycat to extract gold. As it is public knowledge, Barrick Corporation is, uh, has entered into an agreement with uh, Drozlovka and we are actively uh, piloting, testing and hoping to go full scale at multiple sites across the globe. We are also dealing with Glycat opportunity or a Glycat implementation um, that is progressing in Papua New Guinea. Uh, this is a gold uh, miner in Papua New Guinea. Um, they are one of the top gold mining companies in the world. 
The market has reacted very positively to the glycine leaching technology, um, given that the mining industry is generally very slow to respond to new developments. Um, we've seen a lot of interest. In fact, uh, we've been sort of pulled into uh, large-scale demonstrations and, and piloting programs. So, so there's a very strong pull from industry, um, particularly with our Glycat technology, where people are really looking for a, uh, a more sustainable solution. Uh, this year, we've got 10 demonstration projects uh, globally. Um, and these demonstration projects are site-based projects that uh, will demonstrate to clients uh, the value of the technology.